Yo, good morning guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you guys how to replace the spark plugs on your 2007-2012 Jeep JK with the 3.8 litre V6. This is actually a very easy and straightforward process. We were having a misfire on our Jeep so we replaced the spark plugs, leads and distributor. We'll make these into separate videos going into detail about how to do each step by itself if that's what you need to do. But it has solved our misfire issue. We also need to replace the EGR valve but that's for a later video because it is a pain in the ass to get to and we've had uh, trouble actually trying to get it off but today we are replacing the spot plugs in our 3.8 litre 2010 Jeep JK Wrangler there's only a few parts you'll need for this one is your new spot plugs we went, we went for the NKG spot plugs from eBay we got a package deal I think it's $145 I will leave a link to in the description for these products we got a package deal for the spot plugs and lead, very cheap, very straightforward, and all you'll need is a 5.8 um, deep socket. We've got one that's got a rubber mount at the back to hold the spot plugs, so they don't fall off. A pivot head, because there's a few spots in the actual bay itself that are very hard to get to uh, where the spot plugs are located, and also a long extension, and also a ratchet as well. All these are very cheap parts, you can easily pick them up at your local super cheap auto, home depot, whatever you might, whatever's in your area. Very straight forward process, and this will only take about 10 minutes. So, let's get on to the video. Alright, so you've got your six spark plugs one, two, three, down in there, and on the opposite side, one, two, and just in the back there, number three. So, six spark plugs all up, really easy to get to. So, with that socket, we've got a lot of them are magnetized. This one's got like a little foam insert in the, um, in the base of it that way the spark plugs actually connect into the back of it so you don't drop down and it's much easier to actually reinsert your spark plugs afterwards as well so all you need to do is pop off your leads I was doing one at a time then reconnecting them um, after I did them that way they're all stay online you don't can get confused where they are I put these ones off last night to replace this but just leave them on and replace them and put them back on as you go so get your swivel socket massive amounts of room but then you can start cracking lefty loosey righty tighty then we get all the way up you'll have your crappy spike plug that needs to be replaced now this is really easy you just have to repeat the steps for one two and three some might be a little bit tighter than the other ones You'll be able to see them and it's enough space to get your socket down in the bottom. That way you can get your new spark plugs and put them in. Just before you replace the spark plugs with the new ones, check your gapping on the new spark plugs. Make sure they're gapped right. If they're not gapped right, it won't fire correctly. For the 3.8 litre V6 uh, JK motor, uh, it is gapped at 1.27 millimetres, and for the 3.6, it is 1.1 millimetres. So just grab a tape measure, make sure it's gapped properly, and just adjust it if you need to. We checked our ones before we put them in, and everything's spot on. All this information can be found online, or I'll leave all the information down below if you guys want to remember that. It is recommended to cha change the spark plugs on your Jeep every 100,000 Ks. I'm not sure when these have been changed out. We bought it with these spark plugs in the Jeep at 142,000 Ks and we've just hit 200,000. So we have no idea when these were last changed out. Obviously they're really dirty, corroded and this little clip here at the top gets really hot um, under a lot of firing power um, and those can break and it's probably what's caused them a misfire in the Jeep. Uh, so it's definitely time to get them changed out. They're not looking too bad. But let's get the new ones in and see how we go. Alright, now that we've got everything back together, it's time to start the Jeep. Make sure everything's all good. Now we were having that misfire issue which was the code like P0400 which was, wasn't like a cylinder, if it was a cylinder it would be like P00126. I think it's a misfire on that cylinder. Which was just zero, so it means it was either spark plugs, distributor, lead so we actually replace all those and we'll make separate videos but we're finished replacing the spark plugs so let's see if everything starts and works well so 
there's always that point when you do stuff on your car yourself to see if it's actually going to work or not. So don't worry about the engine check light. That's for the EGR valve and these other lights that are going to come up here in a second. That's for the um, rear uh, speed sensors. But everything's running well. Normally it's about this time that it starts misfiring and the engine check light starts flashing. So I'll just give it a second. And we are all good. So that's pretty much it for today guys. Really simple video. Uh, really easy to do at home. Don't be deterred. Literally I was trying to get the EGR valve out first to replace that. But because of the position it's in, it's really hard to get to and one of the bolts is around anyway. I decided to do the spot plugs and stuff. Um, after that it was like 12 o'clock at night. And replace the spot plugs and leads and distributor within like 10, 15 minutes. So very easy, straightforward thing that you guys can do at home. Don't really have to pay anyone to do it. If you're not comfortable doing that yourself, pay someone to do that. Um, it will probably cost you 100 bucks extra, uh, but it gives you peace of mind. But it's really simple, straightforward. I'll leave the link to the spud plugs and the measurements of the actual gapping itself down in the description below. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button um, to keep updated with more videos. Also, follow us on Instagram if you haven't already. We do photos, uh, reels, and little behind the scenes um, on the Instagram stories as well. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.